Hi everybody, and for once I'm on time. So I did promise that I'd come on at two o'clock today to do a live step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make some fun Easter table arrangements, easy arrangements that everybody can copy at home. And again, most of the material can probably be sourced from around your own home. So please, if you're joining, um, let us know. So the best way to let us know if you're watching is comment below. And we love to know where everybody is, is tuning in from. So um, going by our videos the last couple of days, it's been great. We have seen people coming in from South Africa, New Zealand, Australia, Virginia, all parts of America, all over Ireland, the UK, Spain, oh, to be honest, from literally all over the world. It's absolutely amazing and um, it's brilliant. So please comment below and let us know where you're watching from. If anybody does join up later on in the video, you can always um, re-watch this. The best thing to do is if you share it to your own page when I'm finished, it means you'll always have it then to look back on. And remember to go to the Facebook page and if you click on the videos, you'll be able to see all the other live videos that I have posted over the last few days. For anybody that's only new, because I know we have a lot of um, new followers, my name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School. And Case Flower School is a training school and we're based here in Dublin, in, in Ireland obviously, just for anyone that's not too sure. And what we specialise in is commercial flower arranging and floristry courses. So we do courses in sympathy floristry, wedding floristry, flower arranging, hotel, event decoration. So we do all types of courses. And all our courses are really geared towards people who eventually want to work in a flower shop. A lot of our students would be working in flower shops or maybe our wedding planners, etc. and want to get into the flower industry. But our fun videos that we're doing just during the lockdown when everybody is stuck, not stuck at home, safe at home is the right word to use. And um, I just said over the past few days that I would do some simpler displays and just show people what they can use. So something everybody has at home in their cabinets, china cabinets, back of the kitchen presses is these little um, vintage kind of china cups. Does everybody else like myself has the cups at home? And where did you get those cups? <laughs> oh, where did I get these cups? I had these cups in the back of the press. So Ben is here and um, joining in today and he's looking after the camera and anybody that's asking any questions, he'll be able to read the questions and read them out to me. So these were, um, I don't think I've ever used these today. So when I took them out earlier on, Ben says, where did you get them cups? And I says, oh, I says, they're all in the back of the press there. And he says, oh, no, he says, I've never seen them before. And I says, no, they're a wedding present. And I think the, the, the wedding present lasted longer than the, the marriage. By the way, it was my first marriage, not my second marriage. So I'm using these china cups and I'm using these um, little saucers. And what I've done is I fill them up with floral, with the floral foam or floral oasis. So how I've done that is I just have like say a piece of foam kind of like cut into a kind of a rectangle um, shape. And then if you notice kind of around the edges, I've trimmed it a little bit narrower. And then I was able to place it down into the container and I was able to cut off the top there just to bring it level. So have anybody watching yet Ben, what's happening? We, well we have Preco. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, from all the way from Croatia. Hi, um, again, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so when you get a chance, Preco, Preco, is, um, do it phonetically for us and let us know how you pronounce it. And um, she's a big follower, she is, I know she follows us all the time, and she's a fantastic florist herself. Um, if you're watching, well, obviously you are watching, maybe put up the link to your floristry page because she does some amazing work she does herself, and um, you get great ideas by following her. And I'm not sure if she does have a flower shop, but um, if you do have a flare shop, place up the link there for other people to follow. Anybody else? Quite no. enough today, is it? Well, we have Joan. Hi, you, Joan. Joan. That's Joan up in Armagh, is it? Yeah. Hi, you, Joan. Joan you? saying hello. How are you? And um, how's the new grandchild? And hopefully your mum is on the mend. And Claire Ahern, all the way from Limerick, is saying Hi, hello. Hi, Claire. How are you? Um, so thanks a million, everybody, for joining. And should we better do the weather forecast? So today in Dublin, it's another glorious, fabulous day. Now again, just to explain, because people outside Ireland must think, oh my God, we're having a heat wave. When in Ireland and we say we're having a fabulous day, we mean it's not raining. So it's not raining in Ireland today, and we have a little bit of sunshine. You definitely wouldn't be lying out in your bikini, but um, it is, it's absolutely gorgeous. So at least people can get out into their gardens or go out for a walk. And I hope everybody is staying safe and well during the lockdown that's going on around the world. So a little, um, to make this a little bit different, so as I said, we have our cup and our saucer. 
what I'm going to use is this glue. Now this is a special glue and don't be panicking, okay? I took photographs of the packets and obviously of me making or preparing the containers earlier on and I'm going to post photographs in the link so of the directions on the back and of the packet that you'll be able to um, Google it and find it yourself. But it's, I'm not, again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It's called Araldite, Araldite, A-R-A-L-D-I-T-E. So Araldite is the name of this glue. And when you purchase it, you get the two tubes of glue in the packet. It worked out at six pounds sterling and we bought it on Amazon. So as I said, I am gonna post a photograph in the comments when I finish this video today. So if you just Google the glue yourself, you'll be able to buy it direct. It took about five days, I think, for us to get it um, posted out to us. So the directions are very simple to follow. And again, I took a photograph of the packet at the back and I'm gonna post that as well. And what you do is you mix equal parts. So I used the actual um, cardboard container itself. So I just squeezed kind of equal amounts of the glue onto the cardboard. And then in the packet, I'll just take it out here, there was like a little plastic spatula, which has kind of started to stick to it there. This little plastic spatula came with it. So I mixed it around. And now it's clear glue it is. And what it does is sticks metal, ceramic, glass, jewelry. It's absolutely brilliant. But it takes around five minutes to set. So it gives you a little bit of kind of um, a chance for maneuvering it. So what I did, so I'm just putting these packets away here, was I glued my cup onto my saucer. So just to make something a little bit different. So as I said, you're probably never going to use these cups. If you're like myself anyway, you'll never use the cups. So it, yes, it's a permanent feature. But if you would prefer to leave them separate, you can, you can leave them separate. But this glue is waterproof and it's also dishwasher proof. So it means is when I'm finished with the arrangement, I can get rid of all the dead stuff, stick it into the dishwasher. And I also won't be able to drink a cup of tea out of it. <laughs> but I'll definitely be able to use it again. So this is the one I'm going to use for today's demonstration. Again, anybody has any questions at all, just comment below. And what I'll do afterwards is when I'm finished the video is I will go back afterwards and I'll answer all the comments. Like even people that just say hello, you'll know yourself, I always respond to everybody. So you can see there, I've just wedged the floral foam into the cup and then I'm just going to use a sharp knife and just cut off the surplus there that I don't need and just a tiny little bit of trim in there just to, so I don't really need that much foam. So that's our foam in our container. Now, as I said, if you don't have the glue, you could just leave it there on its side and be kind of like rocking around a little bit or if you would prefer to use it in that direction there. And I have one in the oven and I'll show you that one later. Go on, Ben. And for those who don't know, how do you actually get the Oasis into the cup? Okay, so I've just showed that. So whoever's just asked that question, if at the end, you're obviously just a new joint, you've just joined in. If you just um, later on, just watch back at the beginning of the video and I've just kind of done a demonstration there of how I cut the foam and how I got it into the cup. There's no need to anchor tape it in or sell tape it. It's not going to be going anywhere and it'll be absolutely fine. Now, the materials I'm going to use, I'm using some pittosporum. Now, you will find at this time of the year, now again, with people watching from all over the world and even from all over Ireland, but like in Dublin, in my garden anyway, we have a lot of the new growth. So you normally find that from April, May onwards, that all your green, you start to get all your new shoots and your new growth. And you will find that the top parts of your green may not last as long as the, lo as the lower pieces. But for the arrangement today, I'm looking for all small little pieces of foam, of green, not foam. So in advance, I've cut them all up into short little pieces, okay? So what I'm going to do is before I insert each piece, I'm going to clean up any leaf that's at the end, and then I'm just going to place it into the foam. So it's like our cup of tea is lying on its side and it's spilling out. This morning when I took down these cups, well obviously they were thick with dust, I um, had to stick them through the dishwasher first, but um, I actually let one smash. So I did have the whole set of six, but now I'm down to five. So I'm just cutting up these short little pieces of greenery. And as I kind of step up on the cup, I'm cutting the pieces even shorter again. Can you see just that sort of effect? Now again, this is something you could get your kids to do. And even if you haven't got um, like china cups like what I have here um, today, like just even using mugs that you have around the house, that would be absolutely fine. Or you know for Easter, does Easter eggs still come in the cups? Um, I always think when we were kids, we used to get the Bosco Easter egg or the Smarties Easter egg, and they'd come like in a mug. Like you could have the kids using them mugs, just again for a little bit of fun. Be question there for us then. So Jake Turley is asking, 
Hi, Jake. Hey. How are you? I'm sure Jake is going to spend Easter weekend making these for his mum. But go on, Jake. He, he goes, where can I get these materials during these troubling times? Oh, Jake, if you go out to your mum's garden, where does Jake live? Jake lives all the way out in Raffarnham. Oh, loads of greenery up in Raffarnham. I'm sure there's even a park up there in Raffarnham. So, Jake, if you go out to your mum's garden, her back garden, I'm sure she has loads of greenery. And what you do is you take a photograph of the tree or the shrub that she's grown in her garden, and I'll tell you, or you send it personally to Ben, he'll be your personal assistant, and he'll tell you whether that's the right greenery. I think Jake Turley is pulling her legs there. So there you go, Jake. Yeah, hopefully you can copy that part today. I'll send you up a block of foam the next time we're passing through mm -hmm. our farm. So I have filled our cup there with just short little bits of greenery. Now what I'm going to use is some wax flour. So this is how wax flour comes, and that would be a stem of wax flour, but this also is a stem of wax flour. So you can see if you're in a shop, you probably choose that one rather than that one there. Um, for anybody that's purchasing their flowers wholesale, a lot of people don't realise, or they've been looking at the material I've been using the last few days and saying there's a lot of heads on it. When you purchase wholesale, you are given a choice, definitely when you go online anyway, and I purchase online all the time, you're given a choice like would you like your wax flare to be such a grade or such a weight. So I can buy like a lighter weight wax flare or a lighter weight jib and I find that there's a lot less material or a lot less flares on it, but I am going to get it at half the price. So basically you pay for what you get. So what I've done is I've cut up the wax flare into, I have some here beside me, just into short little sprigs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start inserting the little bits of wax flare in among the pitis form. Now there's no particular pattern for this, so it's really, really easy to copy. Like you can see, I'm actually doing it and I'm not even looking at what I'm doing. So I'm saying, sure Jake Curatorial, if he's still tuned in here, he'd be well able to copy this. He'd probably be up selling them in Raffarin and himself there. He, he said, thanks Jen, gonna get started straight away. <laughs> Say hello to the kids. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. You're very good. Fair play to you. So, has anybody else any questions? We have no more questions, but we have a load of people uh, tuning in. Okay, and where's everybody watching in from today then? So, we have Mona saying Happy Good Friday all the way from Australia. Oh, hiya, Mona. How are you? Um, yeah, imagine it's Good Friday. And we're all, I was reading a comment on Facebook today. I'm not sure what it like, was like all over the world. But in Ireland, uh, Good Friday obviously was a holy day. And it was the one day, besides Christmas Day, that all the pubs shut. And you think, oh my God, like, you know what I mean? They had, talk about the lockdown. Well, like for the past, I don't know, all my life anyway, pubs have always been closed on Good Friday. And last year was the first Good Friday that the pubs were allowed open. And I think now somebody is punishing us this year now. No pubs open on today. On today is Good Friday. Um, so as you can see there, that's what I've just been doing. It's just kind of filling up my, my little cup here with tiny little sprigs of the wax flare in among the uh, pipsporum foliage. But like it probably looks lovely with just the foliage as well. So again, anybody that's maybe copying this at home and they're using foliage out of their own garden, if you have foliage with a flare on it, which I don't, you know that way, just my garden is extremely tiny. But if you have foliage with a flare on it, use that foliage and um, like it, again, don't worry that it doesn't last too long. It doesn't matter. This is costing you absolutely nothing to do. You can throw it out and then you can always reuse the cup and you can go and make it up again. Now, I have a couple of little flowers cut up here. So I say like a little tulip. And I'm just going to get our tulip and just insert it randomly into the floral foam. Like no particular spot at all. I'm just poking around here and I'm not hitting the oak. There we go. Into our floral foam. And then I have a couple of little... Um, spray rose heads so again anybody that was watching yesterday when i was making the um basket arrangement i had some little spray roses which i used on their stems and today i've just kind of cut them up singly and again i'm not following any particular pattern i'm just randomly sticking the two little heads of roses into it ben has a question there for us so kathleen's asking uh, she missed the start of the video and she's wondering what kind of oasis did you use? Okay, so it was wet oasis that I used, Kathleen. But again, when this video is over, you will be able to re-watch it again. So what I recommend to do is there's a share option on the page. So if you click share, it'll then be on your own page and you'll be able to look at it at any stage. So when you go back to the very beginning to watch it, you'll see me even cutting the foam and showing you how to get the shape to place it into the cup. So that's all shown at the beginning. So I've just put a little bit of September flower in among the roses and the one tulip. 
And then I have like a little Lysiantus head. So again, I'm just placing our Lysiantus head down into our little cup there. And I have a couple of our little Lysiantus buds. And you know yourself, these buds normally don't open up. And again, I'm just going to place our little Lysiantus buds kind of down, uh, down into the floral foam. So that's like a very, very simple arrangement. There's something that everybody can copy themselves. Now I'm not finished, so don't you know. But what I've done already is for anybody maybe that wants to use their cup separately, you can see where I've done a very similar idea using the cup in its upright. So again, my turntable is not going to be large enough to kind of display all these, but towards the end of the video, I'll clear the top of the island here and I'll display them. And also another one that I did was I done a double cup. So it's where I have one cup facing one way and the other cup facing the other way. Now again, these are all glued. So oh, don't get full of water here. But you can see the way these ones I have them glued onto the plate. And again, anybody that's watching, I showed the special glue that I used at the very beginning of the video. And I will be posting the, the, the packages so that you'll be able to order it yourself. So that's it done on the double cup. So hopefully you like it now. I'm not finished. That's it done on the single cup, which I've just done live there on its side. And that's it done on the single cup upright. So you can imagine for your Easter table, or to be honest, any weekend, just to have these displayed down the center of your table. Maybe later on, if I put a nice tablecloth on the table, I might take a photograph of it. But I think they would look really nice and really cute. And even for a wedding, if you were having kind of um, like a small enough wedding and you had enough of these that you have them made up and then be able to give them as maybe little gifts for people to bring home or for the likes of Mother's Day, no Mother's Day is over. But even for Mother's Day next year and you just want something cute to um, bring to your mum or even somebody visiting a grave and if your mum was into her china cups or whatever, you could make up a few of these and you could bring them up to the grave as small little arrangements. And as I said, kids would have an absolute ball making these. Now, when I was sorting out, do you have any questions there, Ben? Yes, so Preeko's asking, did you ever wire the tulips? Um, years ago, we used to wire tulips to stop them moving. But then, um, like say, like a lot of the companies, say Chrysler being a company that would do a lot of research into the prolonging the life of flowers, they would be completely against using wires now because they then realised that by using the wire, and pricking it into the top of the stem, you were making a hole in it, and then any infection then was going to infect the flower. So years ago, the old fashioned idea was, we used to stem wire, it was called, it was a 22 gauge, um, kind of a green coat wire. So they would stem wire, support wire, the likes of roses to stop them drooping, gerbers to stop them dro drooping, and tulips to stop them kind of like bending or, or moving in the arrangement. So nowadays we don't, you know, that way. But at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with old style floristry or old style flower arranging tips. Like I would have been taught that was the right way to do years ago. And then, as I said, things have changed. So I'm a firm believer in do what you feel is right. So again, I'm using this, um, I think it's a gravy container. I never used it. It came in the set of um, China Delft, whatever, that I got as a wedding present as a set. I'm sure you probably could use one of these nowadays. But um, I think when we make gravy in our house, we make it in a Pyrex bowl, Pyrex dish, Pyrex jug, and we just use it that way. So what I'm doing, again, I have it filled with floral foam, and I'm just going around the edge of it. So anybody that has watched me the last few days doing the hat box and doing the basket arrangement, this was very similar, the technique is very similar to how I greened up the hat box. I always went around the outside of it first. And before I'm inserting any of the stems is I'm cleaning off any leaf that's at the bottom. So I'm trying to insert these um, on a slant that I'm letting the greenery kind of like rest over or lie over the edge of the container. Can you see the way I'm just working my way around? Now again, don't overdo it, because remember I have um, a lot of flowers that I want to put into this. And if you have green meal in your own garden that happens to have a flower on it, um, this would be beautiful just to fill it up with, say, any greenery. My son came here earlier on today, I think he thought I was cocooning, and he brought me down some um, groceries. He must have thought I was over 70. So he came down and brought me over down some groceries to stop me having to go to the shops. So fair play to you, David, I was delighted with it, especially the bottle of wine. But um, he was telling me about all the greenery that he had up in his garden. He's only, they're only in the new house, the two of them, him and Jess. So I said, when you go home, take some photographs. So they sent me the photographs and oh my God, I can't wait till this lockdown is over. I'll be up to their garden 
I sell you wrap it as we say here in Dublin. I'm just standing a little piece of greenery in the centre and now I'm going to turn it sideways. By the way, I didn't glue this um, container onto this saucer. It came like that. That's actually how it came. And now just around that centre piece is I'm just going to place a few more little pieces of greenery here and there. But um, definitely I'll be up to David and Jess's garden to get my hands on. You want to see all the greenery they have that has flowers on it. I tell you, you'd make some fabulous spring wreaths out of it. And um, like, oh my God, like it was just amazing. And even these sorts of arrangements. So Jessica and David, if you're watching, I know you probably have, didn't get any wedding presents yet. Because they're not married, not till next year. But um, if you do, maybe your mum has some china cups and plates around in her house, Jess. You could pop around there, get some floral foam, and you could make kind of similar arrangements. Any questions there, Ben, for us? We don't have any questions, but we have a lot of people tuning in right now. Oh, okay. So we have Juliana all the way in Sandyford. Oh, hey, Juliana. All the in-laws are tuning in today, yeah. aren't they? <laughs> we have Patty all the way from the USA. Hi, Kathy. How are you? And fair play to you joining us from America. And I'd really appreciate when the video was finished if you clicked share just to kind of build up our audience in, in America. We do have a lot of Americans tune in to watch us. We have Sinead all the way from Inverness oh, in so Scotland. Oh, Sinead is my sister over in Scotland. And today is National Siblings Day. So if you were looking at our post earlier on, I did post a photograph of um, Deirdre, Sinead and myself, the three sisters. So you'll be able to see what Sinead looks like. So now what I'm going to do is a similar idea with the flowers. So, so far, I've just randomly stuck two tulips in among the green me, like no particular pattern at all. I have some wax flower beside me. So again, just randomly here and there, I'm going to stick in a few little pieces of the wax flower. So again, like anybody that has children, you can see I'm not following any pattern at all. Sometimes I'm working around the outside with the wax flare and sometimes I'm getting some little pieces of wax flare and I'm sticking it down to the centre. You can do whatever you want. I am using the turntable today because these arrangements were that little bit smaller. It just kind of brought them up to a better height for me. And we do have the turntables for sale. There's one going out to Limerick in case that girl is watching from Limerick. Your one is going in the post there this afternoon. I have the envelope and all wrote. It's just a matter of just going over to the post office. And hopefully Ben, when he's finished, he might go over and do that for me. So again, just to show you, a little bit of wax flare kind of in among the two tulips there. And then I have little bits of the September flare. So just where I have it cut up into sprigs. This would be where that centre one was cut out there. So I'm going to stick in that little bit of September flare here. And another little bit of September flare maybe out to that side. And maybe another little bit of September flare out to the opposite side. And I also have a couple of our little Lysiantus heads. So I'm going to stick a little Lysiantus head in there and then maybe another one over here. So you can see I'm not following any pattern. You don't need a particular number of flowers. And again, I have a couple of our little spray roses. So I'm just going to stick a little stem of spray roses in the center there. And wherever my eye is kind of drawn to. Remember yesterday I talked about the cop on spot. So as I turn this arrangement around, my eye is drawn to that section there. So that's what I call a cop on spot. In other words, you cop on and you do something about it and you just stick a few little flowers in. I have a couple of our little Lysiantus little buds, which you know, I love these little buds. They're probably not going to open, but I love just to kind of put them in just for a little bit of texture. I'm gonna stick another few of them in. And let me see what else I have. I have um, a couple of a paler color Lysiantus. I might stick another one. And again, you don't have to stick in as many heads as I'm putting in. You can put in an awful lot less depending on your budget and maybe when you're up the supermarket doing your grocery shopping you will find that they have like little mixed bunches for sale so why not like pick up a little mixed bunch and again using the foliage from your own garden you'll be able to use these like this isn't like in case anybody comments later and asks me well how much did it cost i'm not really doing this for cost this is just like using up selections of flowers and as i said if you have been watching me the last few days i have been using most of these flowers i used the september flower in among the yellow flowers the other day and i used the wax flower in among the basket arrangements the pink basket that i did the other day so there's our little gravy container just when i lifted that up there just see the tiny little spot there i just want to stick another bit in just always check kind of around the edge so especially when this is on your table people will be looking at it at eye level you know, the little cop on spot, as I call it. But again, you don't have to be fussy about it. And there's another little table arrangement. So you can see, dotted on your table with your little cups and your double cups. And I will um, clear the table afterwards because I'm not finished. So stay tuned in. And I'm going to do another little arrangement for you. Just when I took, took up this little cup there to see another little cop on spot in there. 
So there we have four little arrangements made so far. And as I said, when I was rooting through my um, vintage uh, Delphi vintage um, wedding presents, I also found a teapot. Nothing wrong with this teapot, you could definitely still use this teapot. But I'm one of these, I use, um, actually I'm a real lover of the tea bag in a cup. I very rarely use um, a, a teapot. But if I was using a teapot, I have an aluminium stainless steel teapot and that's what I would use. Now just for this um, container, what I did was I filled it with all the little wedgie pieces for us. Sorry for going off camera. So by wedgie pieces, I mean all these short little corners of the oasis that I cut off to get them to fit into the cups. I filled them up in, in the teapot first. And then what I did was I kind of cut a more regular piece, like how I did it for the cups earlier on. I kind of like shaved in the sides of it and I wedged it in. So what I'm doing now is again using the pittest form, all cut into tiny short little pieces. I'm working around the edge of the teapot. And that's kind of a good tip or a good trick for most of the arrangements that I've been making with you over the last few days. I find the first thing people do when they go to do flare arranging, if they haven't been taught, is they start in the centre and they have everything sticking up in the centre. Where don't, work around the outside first. It's not that the outside is an important part of the arrangement. To be honest, following the rules of flare arranging, the outside is the least important part of the arrangement. But to get the shape right, you know what I mean? And for covering in your mechanics, as we would call it, it's much better to start around the outside first. So again, have you any questions there, Ben? We have no questions, but we have a lot of people tuning in all the way from the United States. Okay. So, so we have Vicky from Ohio. Hiya, Vicky. We How are you? We have Mira all the way from Alabama. Hi, I'd say it's Myra. It's probably pronounced. Myra, probably, yes. Um, <laughs> Uh, and we have Darlene all the way from Pennsylvania. Oh, lovely. Fair play to you, girls, and thanks a million for joining us. And as I said, I'd love to build up my audience in Pennsylvania, Darlene. So maybe when I finish this video tutorial, you might give us a little share there. So what I've done with the teapot, as you can see there, I've worked around the edge of it first. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand a little piece in the center. Now, remember, before you insert any of the stems, clean off the leaf at the bottom, and then I'm going to stand one in the center. And the days I was doing the hat box with you two days ago and the basket arrangement with you yesterday, again, I followed a similar pattern and I caused that number one. And then what I did with short pieces of greenery was I went around my number one on a slant, sticking all these short little pieces kind of on an angle. Now I know anybody that has been with me before on our more commercial courses, I would have shown you exact techniques and systems and patterns to use. But the whole idea of today's class, it's a fun class. We have a lot of beginners who are watching us who have never done floristry or flower arranging before. And um, they're just kind of like looking for like kind of ideas. So I'm just keeping this as simple as possible. But anybody that is kind of more commercially trained, like just go back to your training. But the thing is, you can't go wrong with these. So that's our little teapot greened up first. It's remind you of that little poem, I'm a little teapot, small and stout. Here's my handle and here's my spout. Go on, Ben, you have something to tell us, have you? So there is a lady asking here, how can she order flowers direct from Holland? Okay, so yesterday I was talking about, um, I get all my flowers direct in from Holland. It's just a lot of the wholesalers are closed here in Ireland because of the lockdown. There may be one or two open around the country and if any of them are watching, Feel free, feel free to post your links um, and your websites, etc. in the comments below. But like what I've been doing um, for the past few weeks with the lockdown is we've been ordering, and to be honest, like we nearly always order our flares in from Holland. So we use a company called Hoek, H-O-E-K, and I will post the link um, in the comments below later on for you. And our rep is Frank, so Frank is who I use. Now how the system works is, you have, now obviously it's wholesale, so you can't just go on and buy a five years worth of flowers. There's a minimum amount that you have to spend. By the way, while I keep talking, what I've just done there is just went around the outside of the teapot with a little bit of wax flare. And now I'm going to stand a little bit of wax flare in the center, and then I'm going to start working on a slant, kind of filling in a little bit. So back to ordering in from Holland, is you go online before 11 a.m. in the morning. So obviously today is too late. But you can still go online now. Now obviously you need a login and a password. You have to have an account opened. So you need to contact Frank to get your account opened. So then when you have your login and your password, you're able to log in. And they don't do a delivery on a Sunday night and a Monday night. So tomorrow night they will be delivering to Ireland, which is Saturday night. 
but it's too late to get a delivery tomorrow night. I would have needed to go on before 11 o'clock this morning to get tomorrow night's um, dispatch or tomorrow night's delivery is what I meant to say. So the next delivery coming into Ireland will be Tuesday night. So I have until Monday, so Monday morning before 11 a.m. If I go online and I can go on this afternoon and do it or tomorrow or Sunday, or as I said, up to Monday morning, 11 a.m., I can order my flares. They'll be dispatched from Holland and then they'll arrive in Ireland on Tuesday night. But the best thing to do is contact Frank in Howick, direct yourself, open up your account with him, send him on an email and um, he'll be able to give you more, more details on it than I'll be able to do. Go on there, Ben. So, Geraldine Smith is asking, how much is, how much is a turntable? The turntables are, I think it's 35 euros. And I'm nearly sure it's 12 euros delivery in the Republic of Ireland. So for 47 euros, that includes your delivery charge. Normally would give the option that you could collect them, but obviously with the school closed at the moment, it's not possible to collect. Um, if there was somebody kind of like within the two kilometers, which I doubt most of you are, but if you were, I could organize to leave one in the front garden and you could pick it up. But normally it's easier for me to post them out. If you're outside the Republic of Ireland and that's Northern Ireland, it's about an extra 10 euros on top of that. So that'll bring it up to around 55, 57 euros to get it posted anywhere outside the Republic of Ireland. So it's just because they're so heavy. Um, just to kind of show you here, they're really, really strong. They come apart, you know that way. They're really, really strong. I have these for years. So that's our little teapot so far with our wax flare. And by the way, you can order the um, turntables online. So just go on to our website, onto our online shop, our sundry shop, I think it's called, on the website, and you'll be able to order them. So again, I have a couple of little tulips and I'm not following any pattern at all. I'm just randomly sticking a little bit of tulip in there. I have a couple of our little spray roses. And again, I'm just going to put a couple of our little spray roses here and there. I have a couple of Lysiantus heads. Go on there, Ben, do you have a question for uh, me? Deirdre has just posted the link for the turntable there. All right. So Deirdre is my other half. So Ben is having to take over and he's not doing a bad job, I have to say. He's doing a great job. So normally, um, again, anybody that knows us, myself and Deirdre, we work together in the school all the time. But with the lockdown and quarantine and social distance and all the rest, I haven't seen Deirdre in, must be nearly four weeks. Hiya Deirdre, missing you like mad. So Deirdre's working from her house and um, I'm working from my house and we're just trying to keep, keep the ship afloat, as they say. Um, but like, if again, if you have any questions, if you just email the school, info at flareschoolireland.com, myself or Deirdre will be able to answer any of your questions and uh, we can help you out. So Deirdre's just posted the, the link for ordering the turntables in the comments below. So later on, you'll have lots of, um, like, because I haven't posted any of my links yet that I promised you, but I will do them, obviously, once I'm finished. So what do you think of our little teapot so far? Is anybody liking anything I'm making, Ben? Am I getting any praise? Everyone's saying it's beautiful. Oh, thanks a million. Uh. <laughs> so there's our little teapot, um, more or less finished. I don't think I'm going to get much more into that. Now, I'm not sure if the next stage is going to work, okay? This is going to be an experiment. But with the teapot, there was a little lid. So what I've used is, Ben, can you see the lollipop stick there on the table? Oh, here it is. So what I've used is a lollipop stick. This is actually a waxen stick, you know, but a lollipop stick would do the exact same job. And as I said, this is a pure experiment, so it might work for me. It could be a complete disaster, so if it is, it is. So what I did was I kind of cracked the top of the waxen stick, but didn't actually physically break it in half. And then on the inside of the lid, I'm gonna hold this towards the camera, so can they see this, Ben? Mm -hmm. So what I've done then is I sellotaped it, so I have two of them, so I have one going one way and one going the other way, and a right little spaghetti junction of sellotape there on the inside, and then I used my scissors, and you can see the way I have angled the, the stick, you know, into kind of a sharp point, and what I'm hoping, so say a prayer, is that I can stick this down here, I'm just going to pull out this little flare here, so stick our, oh, there we go, fair play, that went, worked out ground for me. And I'm going to stick this flare in, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, stick it in over here. So there's our little teapot. The lid is a little bit off, but I'm not going to mess around with it because, as I said, it was a pure kind of like chance me arm to see was this going to work. So there's our little teapot. Here's our little gravy container, which I demonstrated earlier. Here's our little uh, single cup which I demonstrated at the beginning of the video. And then, as I said, I showed you our little double cups. 
there we go and then our little single cup for anybody who hadn't got the special glue that I used so what I'm going to try and do here now is just kind of clear my counter a little bit make a little bit of space God nearly smashed the cup there make a little bit of space now remember I was going to post the photographs of the glue and um, packets online that you'll be able to see well not post them online post the photograph of the packets and um, you'll be able to go onto Amazon yourself you'll be able to google the name of it and you'll be able to order it yourself I don't want to try out these flowers here because I have enough there nearly to do another cup I'm actually doing quite well what to 20 to because I did start at exactly um two o'clock today for a change I was on time so I'm just going to open my magic drawer and not the scissors throw all our rubbish in there absolutely now Ben I'm going to try and display these on the table a little bit and if you could angle the camera around mm -hmm. you tell me what way to move them that you can see them for the rest because you're looking through the camera there yeah of course so Ben's giving you a little bit of a view there of what the arrangement there we go, there we go, perfect. Okay, now don't turn it because when it's a video, it will, oh, you'll be end up looking at different directions. Sorry. Just move the camera around, just to kind of that you can see it from different angles. But what I'll try and do everybody is I will take some photographs. Um, apologies for anybody that was offended by that last bit of French my son came out with on Good Friday. Deirdre would never do that. She'd never let us down by saying that. I know I cursed it quite a bit in the school myself. So listen everybody, thanks a million for joining in. I hope you enjoyed that class. Um, again, if you have any questions, just post all your questions in the comments below. And um, I'll definitely respond to everybody, even if it's just a high in Pennsylvania or a high in Virginia. I definitely respond to everybody. It's great to meet. If anybody has any links um, that you'd like to post, feel free. I'd love to um, encourage or promote any other businesses that's out there. So even then, um, our visitors from America, Australia, the UK, etc., feel free to post any of the links to your flower businesses, if you are in a flower business, um, in any of the comments below. And um, we'll encourage people then to maybe go along afterwards, read to the comments, and should pop over to your pages and say hello. Also to let everybody know, we do have an online school. So our online school is for more commercial floristry and flower arranging classes. So maybe for people who would like to learn how to make floral arches or moon gates or pedestal arrangements or topiary trees or flower crowns with loads like funeral sprays, mock hand tied arrangements. We have lots of online step by step courses. They would go at a slightly slower pace to obviously the demonstration because I wouldn't have as much pre prepared. I do everything kind of live with you. So you'll see every little piece of greenery being cut, every little piece of greenery or flower being inserted into the foam or into the arrangement. And we do a lot of foam free arrangements. So again, anybody that's watching and would, make, would more prefer like foam free, we do all our arches, our moon gates, our suspended garlands, our table garlands, we do all them foam free. So all them videos are on our online school. So if you go to our website, which is flowerschoolireland.com, and click on the online school button, and then in the drop down menu, you'll see all the online courses that we have. So when you sign up to our school, it's free to sign up. So anybody who wants to pop over there and just sign up, um, you're more than welcome. And what you're able to do is you're able to watch a free introductory video to each of the arrangements. So if you want to just kind of see a little bit about the arch or a little bit about the moon gate or a little bit about the topi tree, you're able to get a preview video free before you actually make that decision to buy. And if you use the code K50, so K-A-Y 50, all one word and all small letters, you'll get an automatic 50% discount off the full prices. Ben is smiling away there. So are we getting comments to your French or we're, what's happening then? No, we're getting some nice comments. Uh, Trish is saying, hope Ben is getting a very large Easter egg for his good work. Oh, absolutely. So thanks very know, much, after, Trish. <laughs> after what he done there now at the end of that video, nearly ruining our video, I don't know whether I get me. I don't know whether the Easter bunny will come to him. <laughs> <laughs> listen everybody thanks a million have a great day and please please give us a like share the love and definitely share this video bye bye have a great day